So, let's start with the fact I haven't done one of these reviews in a while, so I'm going to try and get a few more done now I have access to Netflix. Let's get this out of the way. And we're doing uh, Looper. The film is about four years old, came out in 2012, it's a science fiction film, it has Bruce Willis, Gordon, uh, sorry, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and Emily Blunt. And the show, film is about an assassin who has to kill himself from the future. That guy, the future guy gets away and he tries to go after this crime boss and kill him while he's a child. Right. With the plot out of the way, it basically sounds like a good plot, but this plot was poorly executed. The whole film is poorly executed. It feels like it never gets out of first gear. You're in the city and in the first 15 minutes of it you have this universe explained to you this future world that's in 2044 and they're trying to explain parts of the world this is the first 15 minutes and I don't know how to put this but they add this idea of people running and this plot device meant, is meant to get the film into second gear however it fails and this is it you're feeling like you're plodding at like my, like five miles an hour let's say you could be going like 70 but you're going at like five miles an hour winding through this plot and this plot becomes slow winded it becomes dull it becomes boring and this is what lets the film down it's just boring they take a brilliant idea and go well let's just see what we can do with it and hopefully we can make something good but we won't put much effort in and it unfortunately results in a bad film however as I talk about this there are some positives to it one it's been said this is the only film that uh, Bruce Willis has given a crap about in the last few years I saw Die Hard 5 and I partially agree with it however he doesn't give his all Joseph Gordon Levitz this was his golden age this had come out a the same year as the Dark Knight I think this came out just after the Dark Knight actually and his, his career was on point however he gives a rather unconvincing performance and it drops off. It's not on point. I saw him do a lot better in The Dark Knight. Emily Blunt probably did the best out of the three of them. In this dystopian wanna be the fifth element, wanna be Blade Runner the universe the farm girl is the best one out of them and I think that's actually saying something saying you've got a brilliant a well respected actor like Bruce Willis and he's not giving a crap the guy of the moment's not giving a crap and Emily Blunt comes in and gives the best performance as a mother Um, but that's another major problem with the film it just 
doesn't it's not the acting's not on point. I've seen better from both from both lead characters. However, the visuals the visuals are good. The city's nice, kind of has a fifth element feel to it. The Farm scenes are nice, it has a nice feel to it. The cafe was a very realistic cafe. The whole film is just let down by the plot, by the slow winding winding plot of this film. It could have been done a lot better. And I'm sure the cast and the film crew knew this by the end of the film. I consider myself to be a sci-fi fan, however, I didn't enjoy this film, and you know what, I'm not going to say avoid it, but I don't think I'd watch it again. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Peace.